see something and I know. Tacos, burritos, and salsa. Sono Fresca is getting you ready for your Super Bowl. And you can actually make the salsa from scratch. I know that's a challenge to some of you, including myself. Joining us this morning to teach you how to do that is co-owner Tim Dobrovolsky to tell you all about it. So, Tim, um, I was just telling you, I can I make my own guacamole. Yeah. And not, I'm, I'm going to, you know, brush it dirt off my shoulder because I make amazing <laughs> guacamole. But the salsa I buy, as do a lot of our viewers, I right. bet. But you're going to make it for us, right? That's and teach correct. us how to make it. Yeah, most people actually buy their own salsa out of a jar. Mm -hmm. But it's so easy to make fresh salsa. Uh, especially this salsa here. This salsa is a fire roasted um, tomato salsa. It's called our salsa fresca. Nice. Okay. So as you see on the grill here, we have uh, poblano peppers, or also known as pasilla peppers. A little bit of heat, a lot of flavor. We also have uh, grilled onions. We have the tomatoes grilling. Um, we have a couple jalapenos there. What you do is when you grill the, the jalapenos and the peppers, it brings out the flavor. It takes away some of the heat. Mm. So anyways, it's going to take a while, so and I've got a lot of food to go. So yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it's going to look like when it's done. Perfect. Also, by the way, i got some chicken breast grill in here. Okay. Simple marinade, a little extra virgin olive oil, lemon, salt, and pepper. Okay. okay. Now the tomatoes, once the tomatoes are grilled, what you want to do is you want to grill them just so they're, car they're um, a little charred on the outside. You want to keep them whole. Yeah, you want to make sure that they stay firm. Otherwise, if you cook them too much, it's going to be soupy and it's going to be too sweet, mm -hmm. okay? okay? So what you do is you have the tomatoes here and um, then we also have the poblano peppers, uh, the, uh, the onions, onions, and we also have the jalapenos there, and I just cut them up to see if you want to you want to make sure that they're a little bit charred on the outside and okay. that's it. I also got some fresh cilantro here, okay? Oh, very nice. So, it, um, it takes about five or six minutes on the grill. You want to make sure you have the grill nice and hot. So I'm going to put it right here in the food processor. Okay. And that's really nice because a lot of people do, uh, they'll grill burgers, they grill hot dogs, they grill some meat, right, stuff like right. that. So this is great. You and have the it on the grill along with anything else you grill you on can, You can Sunday. make this the day ahead of time. You can oh. grill this in the afternoon. You there can you grill go. it in the morning before okay. the game starts because when the game starts, the you know, game you starts. Exactly. And the you do are not on. want to be cooking. No, you don't. And okay. by the way, the game is right here on NBC Miami. So okay. Sure so then anyways, you put these ingredients in right in here. Okay. Um, a little fresh squeezed lime gives a nice little tartness at the end. Very nice. Uh huh. And it we put so a little bit of salt. Here. Yeah. Salt. Okay. Now you do. Do you have guac as well? Uh, yes. Oh okay. yeah. We serve guacamole. We actually during the Super Bowl we sell a lot of salsa and guac to go for those people that don't want to make it. Now what you do is when you want to uh, put in the food processor, um, you want to be able to chop it up, but you don't want to mince it too much. Okay. And then so it turns all watery. And yeah. Oh. There you go. So you want to have it nice and nice and chunky, and there you go. There's your salsa. You're done. That's pretty it. much, right? That's it. I'm done. Wow. Well, this is great. Do you have a, a lot of catering orders coming in for the Super Bowl? Yes, we do. We do a lot of catering. Um, also, uh, we do a lot of catering for uh, pharmaceutical groups, hospitals. We do um, catering for up to 16, 1800 people. So we're very well versed the catering. Anyways, and you're taking a look at some images, by the way. I want to tell our viewers real quick of Zona Fresca so you can check that out. You have, ooh, is that a, like a salsa bar? That is a salsa bar. Ah, um, very nice. The name Zona Fresca is everything is made from scratch. It's called Fresh Zone is mm. the literal translation Fresh in English, zone. right? Okay. So like I said, everything's made from scratch and we've been done very well. Okay. About okay. a minute here, Tim, so I want to make sure we get to our wraps as well. That's right. Okay, uh, what we do is we make a thing called a Cali wrap. Very popular, it's very healthy, okay? Uh, reason why I call it a Cali wrap, call it a California wrap. Nice. It is a burrito with a little bit of a fresh uh, twist to it. I put, uh, you want to put your burrito on top of the flat top for just a little bit of time. Um, otherwise, what's going to happen, you're going to have a hard time being able to roll it. You want to make sure it's pliable. Okay. So go ahead and put it on the flat top, but once it's done, it can set a room temperature. All right, okay. take it over here, on a plate. And in a mixing bowl across here, huh. we're going to take a little bit of chicken. And that's why you have the chicken on the grill over uh -huh. here, right? It was for the roast. Exactly. Okay. A little cilantro. Okay. A little lettuce. A little fresh avocado. And then we have a little bit of tomato. Okay. Okay. A touch of dressing here, which is just a little Kay. olive oil. Is that a garlic. secret dressing? Oh, okay. That's I was right. going to say, can you not tell us what the dressing is? And you mix it up here. Oh, very, you know, interesting twist on warming up the pita on um, the wrap before because I could see the cheese kind of melted onto the wrap. Right. I'm sure that makes a big difference. And then All right, Tim. So why don't you why don't you wrap that up? Um, we're going. I'm going to tell you guys where you could locate Zona Fresca yourself. It's located in Fort Lauderdale Plantation and with the newest spot in Pompano Beach. If you'd like more information or to place your order to cater your Super Bowl meal, 954-781-0030 or visit zonafresca.com. We're going to. Oh, look, we wrapped it up, but we're going to try them. How about that, Tim? That's right. When we come right Actually, back. Platter for everybody. Platter for everybody. Platter for you too. We'll be right back. Beautiful voice. Beautiful oh yeah. Voice and mm -hmm. great chips. Oh my gosh. Great chips. Salsa. Like Everything. What a difference when you make salsa fresh yourself. A huge difference versus buying a bottle. And this is the California wrap, right? This is the Cali wrap. Like I said, you can make this ahead of time. You can make this before the game. Enjoy the game. Set it out. 
and you got yourself a okay. great, great, great to-go meal. Great to-go meal, and Tim will make it for you when you place your order over at Zona Fresca. Thank you so Thank much you so for much. being here. Thanks good for stuff. But th that's also is. I love amazing. it, too. I used to live there when I lived in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Go there. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you very guys. much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>